Hey everybody, it's Quicken, and today I'm going to share with you my interpretation of Haku as a girl. Spirited Away has always been one of my favorite movies, but it always left my heart wondering, what happened to Haku when Chihiro left? So today, I took on that role of Haku, and I'd love to share with you my interpretation of what she would be like in a life without Chihiro. A little lonely and a little optimistic, here is my Haku girl. So first we're starting off with the paper birds. I feel like they're a great symbol for Haku and Spirited Away. So I just sketched some on some notebook paper that I have. But if you Google paper bird Spirited Away, a printable versions of these pop out. Next I painted them with white. Sorry about this impromptu workspace, there was a cat in my usual art space, so I painted these paper birds with an off-white paint. And then once they were dry, I glossed over them with some Mod Podge, just so they could last a little longer, so I could reuse this costume later. Next is my makeup. So I'm going to put my hair up and out of my face, and get ready with some BB cream. Now, my idea of Haku Girl is that she is not full glam. She works with what she has in whatever that world is. So I thought some just nice BB cream as a nice foundation would work well. And then I use some concealer to highlight and hide some dark circles. This is all by NYX and this is in the color 2. Next, I use a wonder stick. I don't go crazy with this contour. I just find my cheekbone and then draw a little line. I didn't go full dragon makeup and that was a choice I made purposefully because this is just a nice and sweet kind of girl look. Next, I blend everything with my beauty blender and then I kind of blend in that contour with my foundation brush. And then I clean up the line a little bit with the highlighting part of the wonder stick. And then again, I just buff that in with my brush. This is a real Techniques blending brush. So I set everything in with some powder. I'm not really good at baking. I don't know super how to do it. So you may see some powder still left on my face throughout this tutorial. That's okay. Next, I use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk just to set a base for our eye makeup. And then I blend that all in with my finger. Kind of taking a juvenile approach to this makeup look. Then I set everything with a matte eyeshadow. Next, going in with my Vice 3 palette by Urban Decay, I grab this light pink color and I just put that in my crease and then I use the color Freeze, which is a metallic blue, and I put that in my crease as well. And then I blend this for like 10 minutes. I promise I'm not actually saying anything, I'm just singing along to the music I'm listening to. Next, I took this NYX pigment in pearl, and I just patted that onto my eyelid. I thought this would be like a nice, cool metallic color, and I tried to stay within the color palette of Haku the Dragon, so using pinks, blues, and greens. I bought a ton of glitter for this look, but during the application, I made a decision not to use any of it because I wanted this to look as organic as it could, if that makes any sense. Sorry, I got really into this character. Next, I used some Kat Von D liquid lipstick in 
this lilac color and with a tapered little angle brush I go in and put in a, a little wing look. I see a lot of people using liquid lipstick as eyeliner lately so I wanted to give it a try. And of course I ruined the shot by leaning in too far but you get the idea. Next I add some water to this little angle brush and I go in with that color freeze one more time and create a blue eyebrow. Now I use this blue as a base because the green eyeshadow I had just wasn't turquoisey enough if that makes sense. It was like a broccoli green. So I lay this blue down first and then I go over top of it with a green. I think that creates more of a haku kind of look. Next I just blend that all together because it looked kind of harsh. And then this is where everything goes wrong. So Haku has some really piercing green eyes and I thought this would be super important for the look. So I put the contacts in and start to realize I'm losing my depth perception right around here. It does not take me this long to apply eyelash glue. And this is when I start to realize there's something wrong with this contact. So I actually take it out but first, I completely ruin all of my makeup. Little do I know. So here's me realizing that everything's going wrong. But the show must go on. So I put on some of this NYX highlighting stick as a base for my highlighter. I love this stuff. And then I kind of blend it in because it went on a little strong. Don't worry about my eyelashes. I take them off, believe me. So I go in with this nude lip pencil just to create a pink lip. I think Haku would have pink lips if he was a girl and me. And this is a melted liquid lipstick. And here's some Strobe of Genius highlighter. I use the purple highlighter because I think that it is ethereal. And then my eyes couldn't take it anymore and I ripped these off. But I reapplied them and then I put on some fake lower lashes. Trust me. And you can do that too. Hopefully your eyes don't get messed up. So this is a wig from Donna Loves Wigs. This is a teal wig which I thought would match Haku's kind of color scheme. I put this on. I felt like this wig was kind of boxy, so I'm really trying to make it work. I kind of go in with a little concealer to get that parting a little more blended in. This is a lace front wig. And then to match Haku's like little whiskers dragony mustache guy, I clipped in some gray extensions. I just dyed these gray. I had no idea what my hair color would finally be like when I got to filming this tutorial, so that's why I went with a wig. So to represent Haku's ears, similar to my Totoro girl tutorial, I just put in some double buns. Haku just has like little dragon ears and horns, so I thought that these would represent both of those kind of well. These girl tutorials are so interpretive that that's why I have a ton of fun with them and I love them. They can really be anything, it's just all about living your favorite character and I think that that's so fun. So I try to blend these extensions in with the rest of the hair. You can do that however you want. I kind of braided them in with the other hair that I had just so it would look more blended and not like I just threw some extensions in there. And that's the end of the hair look. So I clipped some of these paper birds in my hair because if you remember they're like all over Haku and they're like all in his business so 
I thought that that would be cool if they were tangled in my hair. I used bobby pins and then covered them with some white pencil and then set them with powder. You could paint some bobby pins with white nail polish. I don't know why I didn't think of that. And then that's the completed look. So for my outfit, I chose this sequin dress. This represents the part in Spirited Away where Chihiro tells Haku his real name and he is a dragon and he shatters into like a million pieces. And I never get a chance to wear sequins, so I went for it. I chose this lavender long sleeve tee because this dress had a low back and I thought that my tattoos might muddy up this look, so I thought that this looked really cute and almost schoolgirl-esque. So that's how I imagine Haku girl to be. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you decide to recreate this look, definitely tag me. Definitely, definitely let me know. I love you guys so much. Comment your favorite Studio Ghibli character and make sure you check out my Totoro girl look from last year. I love you guys so much. Bye!